Hi Virgo, it is me Mystic Intellect and I am so excited to serve you guys this evening. I am here to bring you a video on what's in store for your July. So we're doing an energy ready for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. If you're new, welcome. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe if my energy aligns with yours. And if you're returning, welcome back, okay? Please feel free to connect with me on social media. I have TikTok and Instagram that I'm very active on. As of late, I am working on more content for TikTok, but YouTube, of course, I'm working on providing that um, monthly forecast for you guys if I can, as much as I can, of course, for all the Zodiac. So yeah, come on in, come on in, and let's go ahead and get started. So thank you, Spirit, for providing a um, an opportunity for me to read for the Virgos at this time. I ask you to please clear the energies of the decks and provide nothing but the honest truth here. All right, so let's go ahead and tap in. So let's ask Spirit what is coming your way for the month of July, Virgos. <clears throat> what is coming your way for the month of July, Virgos? Protection. That wanted to come out very strongly here. What is coming for Virgos for the month of July? Freedom and protection. Wow. Okay. Freedom, protection. Then we got courage. So a lot of you guys... <laughs> Lighten your load. Okay, so Spirit is saying for the month of July, a lot of you guys are going to be focusing on um, making things more suitable for you. A lot of you guys are going to be working on your comfort le levels, which you will and will not tolerate from other people. Um, your strengths, you're going to be actually tapping more into your spiritual powers this month. I'm seeing a lot of people who are in this collective who are gifted. And um, I'm also seeing some Virgos here who are new to the spirituality world. So if that's you, um, make sure that you are paying attention to a lot of the signs the Spirit is giving you along your journey. Because it's going to be extremely important. Because if you are new on your journey, it means that there's some people around you who are going to be very beneficial to your growth. And then there's some people who may need to be removed from your, um, from your life to further, um, um, present more growth based opportunities. If that makes sense. Cause that's how it came out. Spirit wants you to surrender to the divine because nothing is yet in stone. So release your need to control a particular outcome. Um, your emotions could be running very high as of late. Um, especially with this super new moon that just passed, um, Virgo Taurus Capricorn could be very affected by this, uh, suit that's this recent super moon energy luck is on your side though. So I'm super excited to just tell you that you are embarking on a new journey that has a lot to do with you expanding your horizons and actually taking a risk, a risk that result in great rewards here. All right. So spirit has me eyeing this deck right now and they want me to basically drop some uh gems on what's in store for your July with this deck here. What's in store for Virgo's July? I don't know why, but something's very significant is coming in August as well for you, Taurus. Um, increase in material wealth and spiritual growth. Like I told you, a lot of you guys are going to be growing significantly um, on, on your journey. So please take things um, as they come. Don't rush anything. Don't rush into anything. If you're unsure, please ask questions. Question everything if you're not sure. Then we have the hat that talks about you will be playing a different role. So whatever you've been used to doing, you the roles will shift this month. Things will begin to change for you so that you can tap into a energy that is more creative, that brings Brings you more strength that brings you more power and perseverance i'm hearing um i wish i had a notepad because i just got a quick note from spirit and i don't want to forget all right i'm not gonna i, I can't say it out loud it has something to do with some uh food <laughs> that i need to get from the stuff all right so next for virgos this month 
there is some talks about success being assured with good plans and hard work. So keep putting the work in to understand yourself. I feel like Virgos, you are on a path of realization. You guys are coming to a conclusion. I feel like a conclusion is within is within reach for a lot of you Virgos. Then we have the whale, which talks about family wishes coming true. I feel like a lot of you guys are are part of a very strong family dynamic where your family um, some of you guys enjoy sharing family values. Um, some of you guys enjoy following up behind, like following in the steps behind a very strong, successful person who actually paved the way. And you guys are next in line to pave the way for those that are coming after you. Next, we have the camel. It says persevere and you will overcome your problems. So make sure that you are like looking at the end goal, have the end goal in mind because what's coming for you What's coming towards your way will be camouflaged as a challenge, and the challenge is just to help you grow. It's not to put. Uh, it's not to be um, to throw significant harm your way, but it's to help you grow and to just really stand and like stand in your power and to be able to love the skin that you're in. If that makes sense, I feel like there's some flaws or some insecurities, and it doesn't have to be a bad flaw or insecurity. It could just be showing up on time, being consistent. Um, you know, keeping your energy positive and high, um, remaining grounded and leveled. You know what I'm saying? And there's just things that spirit wants you to do to strengthen that ability that you have. Now, April is showing up here to be a very significant. So if you can think back to how um April went for you, I really truly think that there's something about April that could play a huge significance on what is about to take place in towards the end of july 636 just showed up here when i said that and then career will be a huge focus for you for the month of july so get your coins together start saving start becoming more invested in your future endeavors and start coming up with that nice solid five-year plan it doesn't have to be perfect but it has to be solid and you have to be able to see your way through something and make adjustments along the way if there's if changes are needed, okay? Now, next, we're going to tap into Tarot to see what else is in store. Spirit, what else is in store for Virgo here for the month of July? So, we got the full card here. There's a new journey that awaits you guys. Virgo, um, there is someone wanting to basically step out on faith into a new venture. And that is, it, it's showing up here that a lot of you guys could be making a change in your career setting. And it's showing up as a very supportive, as a very supportive thing for you to do. Your, uh, the high priestess energy card is showing up here, which is telling me that you guys are going to be, um, tapping into your, um, third eye energy a lot more this month. A lot of you guys will not be speaking on everything you peep in whatever that you see or surrounding friends and family matters you're going to be using discernment a lot more this month and tapping into your intuition on when to speak up on things regarding matters that could really um hold you back or push you forward in life um we do have the hermit like i told you before the hermit and a high priestess energy together is all about going within sitting in solitude and like collecting information and receiving downloads from spirit and not um, and not sharing too much with everybody around you, not being so open about your energy or your or your strength and where you um, are taking things for your life. Like, you know, whatever plans you have, keep them to them to the, to yourself if you can, especially if you are trying to lessen especially if you're trying not to be so reliant on other people. Some of you have also been having a decrease in your appetite as well. 848 just showed up. Some of you guys have been having some um, some diet changes, some sort of like appetite changes as well. Um, and then we got the hangman. So I see like here, the fool, the high priestess, the hermits, and the hangman. These are all major arcanas and spirit. Oh, we got the higher fight and the chariot here. Yeah, you have... All major arcana showing up here. This is extremely important for you, Taurus, because it's showing me here that there's going to be huge shifts happening in the month of July that's going to lead you to a moment of truth, is going to lead you to a place of freedom, and spirit is with you to basically show you the way. Um, you're going to win whatever battle you've been faced with, especially if it has something to do with legal matters. I do see here with the higher font, your spirit team is 
exposing you to a frequency of magnific magnific magnificence <clears throat> magnificence <laughs> and they're telling me that you're going to become a master of whatever craft that you have right now. So whatever that you're studying, whatever that you're doing right now, Virgos, it shows me that you're going to be mastering that this month. Like you're going to be the GOAT, the go-to, someone that everybody will be able to come to for assistance, help, or in whatever that you specialize in. I'm also seeing tradition. Like I told you, a lot of you guys are going to be securing yourselves. You guys are building a deep foundation for yourself with this will card here. You're not, you're going to be able to build something for yourself and for your family that no one will be able to break down because it's so deep rooted and solid foundation that you are really so focused on your, you're, you're so focused to the point that can't nobody stop this energy. Okay. Seven two, nine, 12, and five may be very significant for you during the month of July here. Okay. So now let's go ahead and keep going. What is el What else is in store for the month of July for Virgo spirit? What else is in store for the month of July for, Vir Oop, for Virgos? Oh, that was a lot of cards. Let me go ahead and reshuffle. I'm sorry, you guys. What's in store for the month of July for Virgos? For Virgos, you guys are going to be building a very strong social media presence. A lot of you guys are going to become more and more famous, more and more recognized for the things that you're doing. I'm hearing marketing. So market yourself, market your business more for the rest of this month because I see that you are, you guys are giving off influencer energy. I'm giving that, it's giving that you guys are going to be able to make an impact in whatever that you're doing with your career, with your business ventures. Social media, online presence is going to be crucial for the month of July lie especially when it comes to financial growth and longevity when it comes to your business and how you want to stand out to your audience then like i just see said again with the hermit and the high priestess here a lot of you guys are going to be in isolation you guys are going to have an isolation period for the month of july virgos where you recharge your mind and your body and you introspect a lot of you guys are choosing to be alone during this time because you guys have been kind, became so emotionally invested in so much in the past that you have no more energy left for anybody else. And it's okay because people around you need to respect that in order for you to be able to give freely, freely again. But who knows when that will happen? Because I feel like a lot of you guys have um, been suffering a lot with the sad news card. Um, regarding certain matters of the heart and of the soul and a lot of you guys are going through an extension period um a lot of you guys are being offered a second chance to actually like come back from the battles that you've been faced with in the past like whatever that was lost in your past whatever that you um lost regarding um <clears throat> opportunities or regarding love or romance whatever it is like it could even be regarding just whatever it is that you really truly wanted to grab onto that just fell through spirit is saying that it's coming back around again like this is your season to receive whatever it is that that, that was passed up because there were people and like i tell everybody once before People can stop, people can delay certain blessings from coming in. That's why it's super important to really analyze your friend group, your family, your circle, because you need to make sure that nobody's energy is off balance. Because if their energy is off balance and they're heavily rooted in your life and they're heavily involved in your life to some capacity, spirit is not going to want to send that blessing your way because it's this, this person could energetically be a blockage for your success. So they try to delay it to help you get rid of that energy and, you know, get rid of whatever it is that's really slowing down the process, the alignment process. Okay. All right. A lot of you guys are going to be celebrated very, very soon. Going into August. I know this is a July reading, but going into August, I'm seeing celebratory energy. It's not going to, it's not going to be a once and for, it's not going to be a one-time celebratory thing. I see multiple celebratory 
occasions happening between now and August. Um, I'm seeing you maybe going on a local vacation, a mini local vacation, getting out more, planning a romantic getaway with your person. I'm also seeing, yeah, like I told you, parties, social events, a happy outcome, taking time off for yourself. Like if you're doing, if you do nine to five work, make sure that you are making time to schedule time off from work because that's super important. You need to enjoy life more and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Some of you guys are burnt out and it's resulting in you having some anger issues. Um, maybe you could be lashing out or getting into some sort of argument or disagreement over something very small, very little because it was built up things happening um, regarding you, you know, not being able to take care of yourself the way that you want or, you know, having all work but no life. Um, having too many things to iron out spirit is saying to make sure that you make time to work out to meditate to listen to um, music to frequencies to meditations to just help you lighten that load because see here at the bottom of the deck lighten your load just showed up here at the bottom in the beginning and it's showing up again because it's, it's wanting to remind you that the burdens the heavy energy that you're carrying is going to pay off sometimes you know sometimes you have to pick up someone else's shit and carry it along with you to make to, to meet whatever goal that you have in mind. I'm hearing someone having to play multiple roles. Like if you have a business, you have to be the owner, you have to be the marketer, you have to be the customer service agent, you have to be the analyst person, you have to be everything. You have to sometimes pick up multiple different things to accomplish a, a goal that you have, and it looks like it will be paying off. You just need to understand when it's time to take that time off to rejuvenate and to actually celebrate yourself when the time do come for you to channel the energy that you've actually put in that you want to see pay off right so i know that was deep <laughs> but that's your reading for the rest of july virgos make sure you like comment and subscribe feel free to comment below on how this resonates and i look forward to better serving you okay all right have a good day you guys